In my previous getting started tutorial on the Arduino and SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules, I explained the maximum basic things including the SX1278 LoRa module pinout, technical specifications, and its interfacing with the Arduino. I demonstrated two beginners level projects, the Hello World project in which I was simply sending the Hello World message wirelessly to the receiver LoRa module and then in the next example I modified the same program and converted it into a sensor monitoring system. So if you are a beginner then I highly recommend you should first watch my getting started tutorial on the Arduino and SX1278 LoRa modules. You can find a link in the description. In today's episode you will learn how to make a wireless two-way communication system using Arduino and SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules. To the master node, a potentiometer is connected which I'm using as a sensor, while to the slave node, a push button and an OLED display modules are connected. The value of the potentiometer is sent from the master node to the slave node and is displayed on the OLED display module. You can replace the potentiometer with any other analog sensor or you can use other digital sensors. The button status information from the slave node is sent to the master node and the message is displayed on the serial monitor. Don't get confused when I say master node and slave node. The reason I'm using these names is because in the upcoming video I will make a network in which the master node will request data from the multiple slave nodes. Anyways, it's a complete two-way communication system based on the Arduino and the most powerful and popular 433 MHz SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules. Now you have got the idea of what you're going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the circuit diagram of the master node. The connection of the SX1278 LoRa module and potentiometer remains exactly the same. For detailed explanation, watch my previous tutorial or read my article available on electronicclinic.com. This is the circuit diagram of the slave node. The connection of the SX1278 LoRa module remains exactly the same. The push button is connected with the digital pin 3 of the Arduino. The VCC and ground pins of the SSD1306 OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's 3.3V and ground pins. The SDA and SCL pins of the OLED display module or connected with the Arduino's I2C pins A4 and A5. I connected everything as per the circuit diagrams. So the Arduino to which the potentiometer is connected is the master node and the Arduino to which the push button and OLED display module are connected is the slave mode. So our hardware is ready and now let's take a look at the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. As you can see, both the programs are almost identical. The sending and receiving code on both the sides is exactly the same. There are just a few changes. As you can see, the master node has the potentiometer, while the slave node has the push button and also an OLED display module. Maximum of the code I have already explained in my previous tutorial. You can download this code from my website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. 
I have already uploaded the programs. Let's watch this LoRa based two way communication system in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.